Millions and millions of people die every year from cancer. For example, over 22,000 women in America alone are diagnosed with ovarian cancer every year, and it's estimated that roughly two-thirds of those women will likely die. Well, today I'm joined by Professor Dror Haratz, the CEO of VBL Therapeutics, to hear how he plans to save these lives. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much. All right, so let's begin. I know your flagship drug is called VB11. What does it do? So VB111, it's actually a gene therapy drug. It's a targeted drug that we give systemically, like every drug that you give in an IV infusion. So the patient come to the oncologist's office or clinic and get an IV infusion of half an hour, which is very simple for the patient and the doctor. But this is a very sophisticated drug because this drug is actually a virus that go to every cell in the body, but it's going to actually express its targeted or therapeutic gene only where it's needed in cancer. So we can give the most toxic gene, and yet it will work only in cancer. And how does it work? It's actually break the ability of the cancer to build new blood vessels and to grow. And when the cancer cannot grow, the patient will live much longer. Now, what forms of cancers does this drug treat? So actually, the drug is doing one more thing I have to say before I answer your question is, the drug is actually educates the immune system to fight the cancer. So we work in both by cutting the blood supply of the cancer and then the cancer shrink, but also we work with the immune system of the patient to actually target the cancer. The drug is working actually in many different solid tumors, like ovarian cancer, thyroid cancer, brain cancer. We have hints that it works also in lung cancer. So it's not a drug for leukemia, for example, but all the solid tumors that we know, breast cancer, prostate cancer, this drug should work from its mechanism of action. Interesting. Now, again, what forms of cancer will this treat? So actually, right now, we are already in phase three in clinical trials mainly done in the U.S. and uh, in Israel, but some in Canada also, where we are treating brain tumor, glioblastoma, which is the worst brain tumor. Mm -hmm. Patients are diagnosed with this brain tumor usually don't live more than a year and a half or two years. It's a horrible tumor, and there is no good drug for this. And yet, in our phase two trial, we could show that we almost double the survival of these patients. Unbelievable. And so it's, it's brain cancer, but are you planning on using this drug to treat other types of cancer in the future? Definitely. So from our uh, trials, we already, as I said, had uh, some hints where it also should work. And then we did a trial with a, a Harvard Medical School with Dana Ferber and Mass General, mm -hmm. where we treated the ovarian cancer women when they already we're not responding to any therapy, including chemotherapy. And when we treated these women, instead of having about six months survival, we got to more than 800 days survival. And some of the women, we are still falling on, and they are alive after they had a disseminated disease with a lot of metastasis, and they were not responding to any other treatment anymore. This is unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> tell us what went into creating a drug like this. I mean, what was the thought process behind it? Because this is not something simple. You guys have created a real game changer. So first, we believe it's a real a, a game changer, but it's not, nothing happened overnight. We started with research many years ago, and we started the company in the beginning of the 2000s, and it take time to develop it. And the whole idea was actually to imitate what nature is doing. And viruses in nature are actually express themselves in cells. So we said if we want to express genes, we should use viruses. But we took a virus that cannot replicate, so cannot create a disease. So we had the best vehicle you can imagine that was developed over millions of years of nature. And then we ask ourselves why some genes are expressed in certain cells. And we learn that there is a small piece of DNA, an engine, that we call a promoter, that it actually tells the gene where it should be expressed. We took a mammalian from nature, promoter that is expressed exclusively in blood vessels, but we modified it in a way that now it's expressed only where you have dividing or building new blood vessels. In normal tissues, we don't build blood vessels, only in tumors. So we're actually using nature to create this wonderful drug. It's 
Unbelievable. Well, <laughs> I mean, it really seems like you guys are going to be helping millions of people around the world, and I'm excited to see what the next steps are um, in terms of what you know other drugs, uh, what other cancers your drugs are going to be treating. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much.